Hello YouTubers, Vinyl fans. I'm back to do the second part of this series of videos I'm going to do with my 80s collection. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm kind of breaking it up into st different parts because I really have a lot of 80s stuff and I kind of have it sectioned off in the way this organized. Uh, for example, yesterday I did the, the 80s A through L, which starts from here. Get the camera work with me here and goes all the way out to this point. And then from here is M through Z with all of the 80s, which goes all the way to here. Then I have it categorized as a 80s guitar rock, which is this section right here. And then this is ladies of the 80s, so all the female bands and female artists of the 80s are throughout here. And go all the way, I'm not going to go over there, but all the way down to this section here. And then this right here is all the 80s alternative. Um, at least stuff I consider alternative is probably classified a lot different with other people, but so that's kind of my entire '80s collection is all of that through there. So I kind of have it in different categories. So I went through some of my favorite picks from the A through L yesterday. So I'm going to do the M through Z today. So I took some of these out so uh, I can have room to flip them, but like I said, just kind of randomly pick some that are in here. Weird Al, even worse. Totally hilarious. I <laughs> love Al. And keep in mind, on a lot of these, too, I have multiple albums by these artists. I'm just pulling out maybe one or two just to just to give each group some, some props here. Um, Minute Work, Business as Usual, Steve Winwood, one of my big 80s favorites. I have a lot of his stuff in here. All this here is Winwood. Um, Danny Wilson. May not remember that name too well, but they had that song Mary's Prayer, which is a really, really cool 80s song. But uh, I think that song kind of came back around a little bit when something about Mary came out because it was featured in there. But uh, of course, the one and only Millie Vanilli. I don't care about all the lip syncing and all that crap. I loved them back then. And, and you know, I mean, you have to admit, those are some pretty cool looking dudes right there, too. So, I mean, they had ladies flocking around them. So I'm going to, you know, hey, you got that kind of pull. I'm going to give them props for it. Um, Thompson Twins, Here's the Future Days. have a number of their albums in here, too. Tommy Two-Tone, of course, one of the most classic songs of the 80s, which is 8675309, Jenny. Uh, Taco, he was kind of a weird dude, but he had that song, Putting on the Ritz, it's after eight. Survivor in there, but I'll skip over that for now. Die Straight Brothers in Arms. Absolute classic album there. I mean, geez, all kind of hits on that. Um, everything from So Far Away From Me, Money For Nothing, uh, Walk of Life. All kind of hits. And, of course, Sultan's a Swing. Not the name of the album, but hit on this Die Straight's album. Skip over a few more. Jermaine Stewart. Another one of my favorite artists from the 80s. Uh, he actually sang and danced background for quite some time with Culture Club. And if you're familiar with him at all, you know, you go back and listen to some of those old uh, Culture Club records like Miss Me Blind and so forth. You can definitely hear his voice in the background. And he kind of ended up going solo after that. I've always found it very ironic. One of his biggest hits was, uh, you know, We Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off. And uh, he ended up dying of AIDS. So just a little bit of an irony there, but... Definitely miss him. He was definitely a great character of the 80s. Uh, Ario Speedwagon, The Hits. It's their greatest hits album. And, of course, got a lot of Ario through here, too. That's a, one of the best arena 80 groups, if you will. Flock of Seagulls. You know, their two biggest hits is definitely Iran and, uh, what was the other? Sp oh, Space Age Love. It's a very, very cool song. That's a cool album cover. And, of course, he was always known for all of his funky hair. But I love the Seagulls. Dexy's Midnight, Midnight Runners. You know, nothing to say about that. Everybody knows about Come On Eileen. When in Rome, they had that song, uh, The Promise, which is a really cool song. It kind of gained a little bit of steam, too, when it was featured at the very end of uh, Napoleon Dynamite a few years ago. Um, so, very cool song there. Love and Rockets. Another very good song. Skip through a few more here. Uh, Simple, Simply Red, A New Flame. 
tell you what, this dude had a lot of soul in him that people, I think, really didn't recognize. But, uh, you know, he had a couple of good songs. Uh, if You Don't Know Me By Now, he did that cover. And then also uh, Holding Back the Years. Uh, so some really good tracks from Simply Red. I've, I've always liked him. Of course, i got plenty of Queen in here. I'm going to show this one, uh, Kind of Magic. Very cool Queen album. And I'll just kind of flash some of the other Queen here that I have. Hot Space. And, yeah, there's the game. A few others in there. Uh, General Public. Another very cool 80s band. Uh, their biggest hit was Tenderness. If you recall in the movie, um, uh, slip my mind right now. Oh, Weird Science. That song was featured in there. It's actually where I first kind of learned about them. Really cool band. And then uh, this is kind of my Prince collection. You know, some of this falls between 80s and 90s, but I'll just kind of not really go into detail on all those, but just show the different things I have as far as Prince goes. Parade, which is a really good album. Of course, the classic Purple Rain. And then we have 1999. Switch hands, that's not working well. Uh, controversy. And <laughs> Prince doing his Prince thing. That dude was a freak from the beginning. And then his very first album, which has the song, I Want to Be Your Lover, which is a very cool song. Alright, moving on up. we got The Police. And, of course, got a lot of their stuff kind of hidden in there, as you can see. Uh, got some Tom Petty. I just pulled out this one here, which is Southern Accents. But Tom's been around forever doing his thing, so that's awesome. Then as far as I'm concerned, one of the best voices ever in music, period. Uh, that's a huge statement, but I mean, very few people, if any, can hit the notes like Steve Perry. His voice was absolutely incredible. And of course, this had his hits, uh, Oh Sherry and Foolish Heart. Then also a very cool song, Captured by the Moment, which is kind of an kind of awesome song. Uh, Mark Penn. And, of course, the outfield. 80, 80s can't be the 80s without the outfield. There's Diamond Days, Bangin', and, of course, Play Deep. And then we got Midnight Oil. Gary Newman and Cars. <laughs> very, very cool 80s track. Eddie Money, this is the best of. His greatest hits. Got quite a bit more money right in between there. George Michael's Faith, absolute classic album. John Cougar Mellencamp, which has a Scarecrow, a uh, Raid on the Scarecrow, which is one of those songs that just freaks me out every time I hear it. There's something so creepy about that song. Paul McCartney, that's kind of his greatest hits, All the Best, which has a Say, 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 Band on the Run, No More Lonely Nights, which, which might be my favorite well, McCartney song. Fleetwood Mac, Tango in the Night. This has one of my favorite Fleetwood Mac songs, which is uh, Seven Wonders. Um, that keyboard playing in that is just absolutely incredible. It gives me chills every time I hear it. Bobby McFerrin had, of course, that song, Don't Worry, Be Happy, which is one of those songs I hated when it first came out, but I think as I got older, I kind of caught on to it. I think he's like a conductor with... You know, orchestras and orchestra and stuff now. And then the last one I'm going to share today is Madness, which of course has the classic of Our House. Can't forget that one. So, so there you go, YouTubers. That's 80s M through Z, just some of my favorites. And next time I'll be posting, uh, probably going to some 80s guitar rock and sharing some of the things that I have in there. All right, take care as always. I'll see you guys soon.